Hey guys, this is XX Media Productions XX along with Bass Pro 391. And today we're going to show you how to tie the scud or pupa, which is usually under rocks and cross streams. <laughs> uh, excuse me. And this fly is <laughs> very simple, very easy to tie. It's made out of nothing but uh, strength tubing. As you can see right here, this is size small, comes in mic micro size, small, and medium. Uh, I like to use red, Ultra Thread 70. Uh, 6.0, some people call it thread. Real nice and thin, it gives it kind of like a nice reddish, uh, clean, clear silver color under the water. And of course, you got your whip finish, your bobbin, and your pair of scissors. So to start off this fly, I got a size 14 dry fly hook here, or nymph, I mean. This is a nymph hook. I'm just going to get my Ultra Thread 70, and I'm going to give it just a nice little wrap back to the uh, bend of the hook. And I'm going to make a nice another little wrap up. Okay, and then one more wrap back down. It's going to be like the underbody of the fly. We want to build it up, make it look big. Okay, now I'm going to pull out my string tube in here. This comes in a, about, uh, I'd say, two, three feet when you buy it. I've cut it up pretty bad. It's just, you know, it's a real elastic string, or it's a real elastic plastic thread. So I'm just going to cut about it two inches off like so right there I'm just going to attach this in now just attach it in the, the way back at the bend of the hook snip the excess off wrap my thread all the way back up to the eye of the hook and then you start wrapping and I like to wrap double, one right over top of the other. Give the fly a nice little body. Yep, telephone call. Just like so. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Almost done there. As you can see, you got that. You can see that red, uh, red thread down below there, underneath there. That kind of almost looks like if you look, if you ever pick up one of these or see them in a trout stream, you can almost see like the uh, like almost inside and they're real clear. And that red thread gives that vivid uh, look. Okay, now we're just gonna give a little head, wrap it off finish it off so it's tied beneath right behind that eye snip any excess okay let me wrap my bobbin up here get that real close to the eye get a nice fine wrap Okay, now we're just going to whip finish this off. Okay, tighten that. There you go. Snip that off, and that's how you tie the easy pupa, as I like to call it. Let me just do a little 360 here. Show you. There you go, as you can see. That's how you tie it, folks. Enjoy.